Hi, this is a short video where I will show the upcoming changes for the RAW record module. This is a new Magic Lantern file format. As you can see here, um, I have configured a crop area. And now we enter the RAW video menu. So the main new visible changes are the tags. I will enter some text here. This text will be shown on the computer later. We're just entering here. Yeah. Test one. Okay. And as requested, the take number. Let's configure take number one. Now we will record a one second video. Stop. And if you look in the menu, the take number has increased to number two. Let's record another video. And now the take number is three. These uh, strings are saved into the MLV file. This is the new Magic Lantern video file format. Uh, until now there is no converter from MLV to DNG directly. But we can see it on the computer, so let's shut down and pull out the memory card. This is a dumper. I hope you can see anything. Uh, we have two video files. I have to record the two files. Let's start with the first one. It has some description, file header, some unique ID. In case of multiple files, all files will have the same idea, the configured FPS, number of frames recorded, the usual raw information, real-time clock information, the time of recording was 3 p.m. and so on, let's scroll down. Exposure information, start, this is not very accurate yet, I think. That should be enough. The lens serial number, uh, the lens name, no serial number yet. Um, some camera ident flags, uh, ident strings like the name and the serial number. And after that information, you can see all video frames. Scroll up again. I missed to show you the free text. I entered test one, and the take number that is increasing automatically is on the first video one. Let's check the second video. And as you can see here, take number two. This video was shot a few seconds later and there's also a few video frames in it. Okay. Now using the dumper you can also output a legacy old raw format. It will take a while and you can convert the raw file to uh, DNG again. So. You can see it converted 37 frames and I won't show you the final output but uh, it worked once so it should work now too. <laughs> Okay, this was the short video. Um, these changes will um, yeah, come into Magic Lantern in maybe one, two weeks. We will see. Okay, have a nice day.